to freshen up your house as well. Hi, I'm Franny Knight, and I am going to be showing you one a week. I've got 10 that are going to be really exciting. And um, anytime that you are interested in getting the full list of the 10, you can certainly just type in the comments guide. I'm just checking to make sure we're on here. If you type in guide um, in the comments, then I will uh, send you the full 10 list um, at any point. So um, let's see, we're not uh, actually showing live yet. Not seeing anybody here. We've got a couple of people. Okay. So <clears throat> again, I'm not sure why it's not coming up live on my page, but uh, hopefully it will here soon. All right. So this is going to be a very short one. Uh, for this first one, I'm still creating all the, the content for each week. I do have the actual guide for you. So if you type in guide, I'll give you the guide. Um, but I want to <clears throat> start off with the, the one thing that I always tell my sellers at Urban Cool KC that they should really think about doing uh, in addition to the standard stuff. By the way, this week is going to, this, this guide it's kind of some different stuff. Like that's what I want you to know is that I'm going to give you maybe something different that other staging uh, guides or books or uh, stagers uh, tell you anything that you can search for. I think I've got some really unique stuff. And so today's big tip is lighting. So I know that most people are not uh, talking <laughs> um about lighting with you when they come to, 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 to talk to you about staging your house, whether it's a realtor or a, um, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I just want to check to make sure we're live here. Give me one second, please. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm just going to move forward. It doesn't look like I'm live and nobody, oh, oh don't mind. You have six people. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Um, if you will type in the comments um, uh, something that you have done recently to your house, whether you're selling it or not, getting ready to sell it, or maybe it's been years ago, that you did that either your realtor or your um staging person or some friend or you just yourself something type one thing it just be one word um what did you change what did you do to get your house ready to sell or just to make a change at your house like all the time we're trying to change, just type one like did you paint did you paint the interior or the exterior did you declutter please uh just so i can see who's here if you'll just type in the comments what is one thing when you think of staging a house or getting changing up your house, what's one thing that you do? Please type that in the comments. That'll help me know that you are here and watching. That'd be great. Thank you. Um, so, uh, so I have 10 unusual, pretty cheap things that you can do that I tell my sellers all the time um, to do. And if you think you're going to be selling your house in a year, a couple years, three years, definitely start putting these items together. So today, so I have 10. Um, okay, nobody's typing, type, get, type in the comments for me, please. What's one thing that you know that you've done or is kind of a common thing to do when you're staging a house or just to change a house? Go ahead and type that in the comments for me, please. And, um, <clears throat> and that way I can see who's here. Got nine of you. Got some 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 thumbs up. Okay, so uh, ten weeks in a row, I'm going to give you the ten things that are kind of unusual, not very expensive, and the first one today is lighting. So we're going to <clears throat> talk about lighting for under two hundred dollars. All right, now you can even go cheaper. Look, there's ways to do this cheaper. You're going to have to get a, a little bit more scrappy with it. Um, I actually uh, can't, can't believe how much lighting has gone up since the last time I helped somebody, which is less than a year ago. It's like almost pre-pandemic. <laughs> the lighting has gone up like 
20, 30% at Home Depot, Lowe's, Ikea. So anyway, I'm looking, I'm in search of where the, the, the newest, cheapest lights to get. So the, the thing that you want to do is really go through your house if you are getting ready to stage it and look at, at your lights and ask yourself, are they updated or are they outdated? And um, if they are outdated, then, then that's the very first thing that you want to do is to start changing your lights. So we are getting ready to um, uh, stage a house in Raytown. Hold on one second here. And I want to pull up this. This is the light that um, is in their dining room. Um, please make type in the comments. We've already talked to the owners that are all cool with me showing this um, and what we're doing as a, as a change for their lighting to get their house ready to sell. So type in the comments um, is, you know, what, what, uh, what year were these lights invented? <laughs> what, what decade? Uh, and, and, or maybe type in the comments. I have those lights, Franny. And if you're here and you want to get the full 10, um, 10 step guide, um, just type guide in the comments and I'll send that to you. Okay. So I think this is, um, like early two thousands light. That's my guess. I could be wrong. So when I first walked into these clients house, this was honestly, there's their, they're painting, they're changing out some carpet they're doing some other things. They're decluttering. They're actually moving out. Um, and uh, a, a variety of other things that typically go along with, with staging and getting a house ready. But um, they were quite surprised that I said, we need to change some of your lights because we're going to do, uh, we're going to put in some really cool staging furniture. And um, this does not, it's just very outdated. You could, you could change the entire feel of your house with just some light change. Even if you don't put in new furniture, keep it vacant, changing your lights to really modern, great style for your house um, lights. Uh, Stacy, oh yes, Stacy, I love that. Stacy says, thank you, Stacy, for <laughs> piping in. Um, feels the 90s to me. You could be right. I don't know. I just think it's old. Like it's at least 20 years old, right? 30? I don't know. Anybody else have a do you have, does anybody here have this light fixture in your house? Say yes, <laughs> I have it. Okay, thank you, Stacy, for uh, contributing to this the cause. All right, so <clears throat> we're, so here's what I did. So we talked about the rest of their house and what was the feel of the house. This is a, a Cape Cod house. Um, and it has um, some some fairly modern cabinets, but it's still a little bit darker. Um, there's some great, uh, you probably can see this in the picture, uh, some nice, um, almost Tudor looking um, hallways. And it's got a little bit of craftsmanship to it, but a little bit, their, their colors of their walls are a little bit more modern. Um, and uh, by the way, if you are wondering, and this will be... Uh, painting choice, paint color choices will be one of the 10 weeks. Um, and just, if you're wondering right now, I got to get my house staged right now. We got to get our house ready right now. Which by the way, if you are thinking about selling your house, sell it right now, because it is hotter than hot and it may not be in a year. So sell your house now. And if you are getting ready to sell your house and you're going to paint white, white, everything white. Now, if you have a craftsman house and really great woodwork, I am not telling you to paint your wood, wood white. Do not do that, please. But white, white. Listen, the, 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 in Kansas city, the trend for colors and, and, um, overall design scheme that we're all kind of going towards, there's two styles right now that you can't go wrong. One is modern farmhouse and the other is mid-century eclectic. So we'll be talking about those styles. We're going to pull this all together at the end. But if you are working on a budget and you can't come in and redo your whole house and get it all staged in a certain way, these are the things to do. So we're going to change this light. So the first thing is we're going to figure out what style of house we're working with. And 
with the trends that Kansas City people are really interested in. And I went to, uh, let me uh, just pull this up. I went to uh, Home Depot. Uh, by the way, Home Depot and I, uh, excuse me, Home Depot and Lowe's are not my favorite places to, to get lights, but sometimes they're just close and I go and then I'm just, I'm going to pick these out. Um, and again, I'm trying to change two lights in the house to make the biggest impact. If I can get more, three or four for two hundred dollars or less, I am trying to keep that under budget. Um, <clears throat> oh, Aaron, I'm sorry, I'm going to sidetrack here. Uh, Aaron, thank you, Aaron. Sure, sure. When Williams Pure White is my love right now. That's so awesome. White, 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 white. Everything's white. Now we're starting to get some bold colors coming in on accent walls, and we'll talk about that on another week. All right. So, uh, so this is the light that I actually picked out to go into. Um, uh, where did it go? Here we go. Let me go back to. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm still learning how to scroll on this. Um, so. Again, if you're just joining, this is the light we're trying to replace. That's very, very outdated. And um, the guys that own this house have a real artsy, modern kind of flair within a arts and crafts Cape Cod slash Tudor house. And so I'm trying to make a combination that works for them. Um, they've got a nice gray and white rug. Um, some of their colors are a little bit uh, uh, light gray. So we think we're going to put this is. This is the, the choice right now. We're still kind of thinking, and you all can help us out and let me know which one you think. Um, the other ones that I looked at, <clears throat> let me take these out real quick, that we thought might work. Um, hold on one second. This is this this style is is definitely a um, in all the forms of this, the bubble lights with the, the metal. Um, I will tell you that you can still do these lights. They're still fairly popular, but you want to go gold. Gold is uh, for now, <laughs> not bronzed metal, not silver, black, gold. Anytime you can get gold into your house anywhere right now. And, and the gold is like, well, Franny, which is that? Is that modern farmhouse? No, not really. Um, is it a mid-century uh, eclectic? Yes, it's a little bit more of the mid-century eclectic. Gold was a thing um, in the mid-century. So that's what's going on with um, uh, any, any light fixture that you pick right now. Don't pick the black. Uh, they do have versions of this with the gold. <clears throat> um, but this didn't fit the craftsman. This would be in a more uh, modern um, home more contemporary or totally renovated um, home. So let's uh, pull up this one here. I also, um, oh, why is that showing all those? Go away. I wasn't ready for you yet. Um, so this is another one we see a lot right now in, in staging, um, um, and renovated houses. Uh, I, I think that's becoming a little outdated. Uh, it certainly won't work for my guys in this house, but you might be tempted to if, if you like this style. Um, I would just say this is probably not, not the best style right now. And, and by the way, how do I know this? Look, I am not an interior designer. I do stage uh, our houses and I stage some other houses, um, but I'm mostly going by what I'm seeing a lot in Kansas City. I'm in and out of houses with buyers uh, and listings day in and day out. I do watch HDTV and, and some of the, the, um, the updates on those and some interior design magazines. Um, and there is a, a difference in we serve the urban core of Kansas City and older homes that are sometimes renovated. Um, we're not out in Southern Johnson County or Lee Summit or, or um, in the Northland. 
um, in the newer subdivision. So we're not talking about that. Listen, we're really trying to, to show you what we're doing in, in Midtown Brookside, Waldo, um, Northeast, those neighborhoods <clears throat> that have more historic flavor to them that may sometimes have been renovated. We also have some moderns. You know, we have quite a few moderns in Midtown, mostly West Plaza and, and West Side. Um, so some houses can work when it's uh, uh, a little bit more modern. All right. So um, where did my other one go? Come on. Where are you? Well, I just lost it. Shoot. Well, that's too bad. Okay. Well, sorry. I can't, um, I've lost some of these, uh, pictures now. So I want to change one. Usually it's the dining room light fixture. And then I want to change maybe the, the lights hanging over the bar in the kitchen and then a couple of other, uh, lights throughout the house and in the lights that are throughout the rest of the house. <clears throat> um, the, this is, so I'm looking at less expensive now, because remember, I'm trying to do this for $200, four lights for 200. That's my goal. Um, and so there are some houses, um, there's some, some houses right now that have still just the, I call them the nipple lights. This house that I'm staging in Raytown, hallways, upstairs, they all have just the, the um, contractor nipple light that's just really cheap and old and not very attractive, um, including what we call it. Um, but uh, these are the lights that I now would go and put in the hallways and, and going up the stairs, some of the bedrooms I might put uh, these, which are much cheaper. These you can get for uh, 49 $59. Again, you are starting to see the gold uh, that I was talking about. Um, gold, um, your pure black like that, these two, the blacks um, are still uh, in fashion. Um, if it has some gold in it, that even makes it uh, much more fashionable. The other places that I like to get lights that are pretty inexpensive and pretty modern um, Home Depot and Lowe's tend not to be as uh, on the edge of the trends. Um, I like Wayfair. They're really great with um, some good, um, cheap, more uh, trendy lights. Ikea always has uh, some of the trendy, trendy lights that are out there. Um, also, uh, for lamps, um, Tuesday morning, um, home goods, uh, all those kind of secondary market, um, home stores also have very inexpensive, not so much these lights, but lamps. Um, so, and, and then I'm just looking around on the internet. I'm trying to find very, very cheap, cheap, but, uh, this is what I would replace for the other, uh, three lights that I'm going to replace in the rest of the house. <clears throat> so that's really the, the, gist of this section of um, my first, uh, uh, oh, here it is. That's the one I wanted to show you. My uh, stream here, I've got some stuff down at the bottom that it's not letting me uh, move as much as I would like. I want to show you this one last uh, picture here. I had it up before. Let me do that. Let me hide that. Um, so this is an example of, um, the, a lot of these lights now are, uh, the open sphere lights with usually it's Ed, Ed, Edson lights, um, that are kind of the common theme right now. Um, so bronzy, um, sometimes you get teardrops with Mason jars. Um, so that's a whole trend in itself. I think that's going out of style. I think this is, is not as stylish as, as it used to be. So, um, that's, that, that's it. Like 
if you want to get a, just even if you're not selling your house right now and you want to just make a, a change in the look of the house for just a few hundred dollars, I'm telling you, if you get some more trendy lights um, that are farmhouse modern, uh, golds, blacks, um, I think you are going to, to really love what that does for the feel of your house. And if you're staging it, certainly it's, you're going to love that. All right. So before I sign off, um, if you'll type guide into the, the, um, uh, comments and I will, I will send you the guide, which is all 10 things that I'm going to be doing over the next 10 weeks. And I plan to do these uh, Fridays at four, I may switch those up. If you want to be reminded when I go live with these, um, so you'll know for sure, I'll give you a notification, go ahead and, and type in remind, and I will put you on the list to, to remind you um, to uh, come follow me. Because again, we're trying out a couple, uh, we're going to stick to Fridays, but we're going to try different times on Friday just to see uh, who is watching. And again, listen, Urban Cool KC, we uh, are uh, great at staging homes. That's what we got known for. Um, we're getting ready to stage, and I'm going to try to do some video of this house in Volker this weekend. Photos are Wednesday, so um, we're going to try some unique stuff, some more golds than we ever have. But we're the style we're going to go for in this house is mid-century eclectic. So it's going to be mostly mid-century but with some other kind of flary stuff in it. So if you want to um, uh, just pay attention to this space, we'll, we'll, we're going to post some videos here of the things that we're doing, and I'm going to be bringing them into the next nine weeks of this uh, staging show. And uh, thank you all very much. Um, I hope you can enjoy uh, this weekend. Maybe it'll get a little bit sunnier. <laughs> it's so cloudy and icky. And uh, Sarah, thank you. I'll get you the guide. I appreciate that. And um, anybody else, uh, just let me know. Even if I get off, you can always uh, send me a direct message on our Facebook page um, that you like the guide or to be notified of future uh, shows. Okay. All right. We are done for now. Thank you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.